So next we're going to have a look at VAT statements and how we use them to build up a VAT return within Business Central. So starting point is VAT statements here. Um, we can have multiple VAT statements, but only one of them can be used to submit tax digi digitally to HMRC. So that's, that's worth uh, bearing in mind. So if I go into the VAT statement here, go in. Uh, edit that statement, we can specify um, how Business Central is pulling the information from our sales and purchase VAT um, and adding it to the various boxes in our VAT return. Okay, so it's, it's simple enough to understand, um, but we do, of course, need to make sure that all of our VAT figures and all of the associated posting groups are correct um, before we start generating this VAT statement because we don't want to accidentally send something to HMRC that we shouldn't be doing. Okay. Now, the HMRC link is done within the, the background. So if we go into service connections, we'll see an area of the system that's dedicated to HMRC um, and the MTD or making tax digital capability. So we've got HMRC VAT set up where we enter all the various uh, connection details. Now, before doing this, you will need an authorization code from HMRC and you have to do that through HMRC. So it's a process where you have to log into your portal. You have to tell HMRC that you're using the system and then they will give you an access code so that you can then tie the two together okay so that's the step there okay once this is all fine then you can go into process and then calculate and post VAT supplement which will uh, post the, the VAT return and then it will also um, submit it to HMRC at the same time to order Dynamics 365 licenses or to sign up to a 30-day free trial navigate to d365.link forward slash now.